beautiful fall day. Let me give you guys an update on a year old project. So we got the 89 Kawasaki ZX10. This bike sat for about 12 years. I've had it for about a year, exactly. <sighs> Same old stuff. The fuel tank had rusted out. So this is a replacement tank. Um, brakes were seized, fuel system. Uh, these bikes have a problem with the uh, starter clutch that ends up blowing up the real clutch. A lot of wiring issues as the bike sat at this angle, the gas tank started to leak. It might be hard to tell with the shut. So it leaked, it, that killed the alternator. And then down here, the side stand switch. So that was a lot of fun to figure out. It would not turn on, it was just dead. So, like I said, it's taken a year. We did make some progress. As you can see, right now, you know, maybe it doesn't have all the right bolts. Maybe the connections are just kind of spliced together. We got old uh, glove separating the connections, painter tape. This is just to see if it will fire up. Uh, and in the process, the bike was on its bike stand and I had jack stands on the side, which I thought were, should have been under here, but maybe it just slipped. And while I was working on the bike, I was rocking the bike to get fuel to go into the carbs. The bike came off the stands and then it ended up crushing uh, this coolant hose. So when I was ready to try it, I had a coolant leak. So again, all the fuel systems destroyed. That is not a real Kawasaki pump. That is, my pump is shot. So the issue with these carbs is that they're at an angle and when they flood, they flood the engine instead of, in most bikes, maybe they flood the air box and that can hydrolock the engine. So for now, just to see what we got, I was also having issues with while the bike was in the garage I could not shift into second so I thought maybe it has transmission problems just going to first and neutral was difficult too but maybe it's that all that was because the bike sat for so long so uh, made up fuel pump replacement tank what we do is just um, shut the fuel off and to run the pump we have a Milwaukee battery duct tape there we got the negative there already going in and where's the positive this is our on off switch so we get the bike started turn the fuel on turn the pump on that way uh, we don't flood the engine in case my uh, float level is incorrect okay I'm gonna just stop talking fire it up for you guys again it took a long time I don't have a lot of time to be working on this bike but I took on the project and I just, I would hate to just give up on it. So let me fire it up. It, you know, I knew it was going to be a lot of work. I shouldn't have taken it on, but I just couldn't pass out. I love these old bikes. Um, so we'll uh, go ahead and fire it up. And uh, I don't know what we're going to do. I think slowly we'll fix it. Over time, we'll fix it. But again, I don't have the time or the space. But I'm also like very attached to the bike already, so it's tricky.
I'm not going to run it for too long. I got the day off, but my neighbors are working from home. with the fairings on man I don't think people see a lot of these bikes they're not in good condition when you find them at that time there was no thousand cc race category and super bikes I, well I guess all the racing at that time was two stroke but just American racing AMA so they don't have that racing pedigree but people who know they know these are a beast yeah, their, their big claim is when they came out in 88, they held the speed record. And then whatever, Honda or somebody made up a made up claim. I don't think Kawasaki ever even lost that. That might piss off some Honda or Yamaha people, whoever was claiming it in 89 or 90. And then the ZX-10 came and took it for another six, seven years. But whatever, whatever that 89, 90 record was, we'll beat it. We'll beat it with this bad boy. I don't know who's going to be riding it. <laughs> we'll be beating it. Because your boy's scared. <laughs> 